Welcome back. This is Alan Olson with America Dreams Keys to Life Success. I'm sitting here with Al Holvey of the Career Actions Network. Now, Al, I realize that there's a friend uh, that called in here uh, that has been currently expes- experiencing a job situation. Right. Maybe you can give us a background on... Um, Good. Good. Yeah, his name's Bob Ficken, and Bob uh, and I met at one of the senior executive networking uh, uh, forums, and uh, we just met about, what, a month ago, Bob? Yeah, that's about right, Al. Yeah, and there were about maybe 25 executives there, VP level and above, and uh, the objective of the group um, is for the various people to help connect each other to to opportunities. All right. Well, let, let's go back to Bob then. Bob, can you tell us about your situation where you're currently at? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I've been an HR executive for over 20 years and uh, unfortunately was displaced uh, about a year and a half ago by my most recent employer. And I've uh, been pretty actively searching since then and uh, networking with uh, people like Al and his career action network and I would be happy to share anything I can. Let's go back to uh, your situation, uh, a HR director for 20 years. Wow. That's yeah, back to, back to when it was called personnel. Hmm. Well, what, what did you do when you first learned that you lost your job? I think there's a couple of key things. I think the uh, first one, and uh, I know Al and I have talked about this quite a bit, is to uh, immediately launch your networking effort. Uh, if you haven't done it already, and uh, I know it's it's tough to do and not everybody thinks of it, but really your networking should start while you are still working. So if you're fortunate enough for your employer to give you notice that your job's going to end in 60 days or something similar to that, you should immediately launch your networking effort then. If, of course, you're displaced and they, like Slender did, and they just tell you you're gone today, you don't have a chance to do that. But as soon as possible, you need to reach out to everyone you know. Uh, you know, build your network, uh, establish those contacts, and then, uh, you know, you need to increase it every which way you can, uh, whether it's on uh, social groups like uh, LinkedIn or uh, simply cold calling people that are friends of friends and uh, build that network up as extensively as you can. That's uh, critically important. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, the the sixty day uh, rule came out immediately with Solyndra, saying that uh, that no advance notice at all. I mean, are, are they required to give notice there? Well, uh, you will find that under the WARN Act. It's W-A-R-N, uh, Worker Adjustment and Retraining. Uh, but unfortunately, there's an exception built into that law that says that if the company is trying up until the last minute to secure uh, financing that would stabilize it and allow it to stay in business, then it is allowed to not give that notice. Wow. Yeah, just as a side note, what was it, $500 million in a <laughs> short of a period of time? It's. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure we're going to hear more of that from, from time to come. But nevertheless, here we are right now with the networking effort. Now, I uh, you know, what's becoming big, I just ran across an article saying that uh, over 1 billion people are currently using the social media network. And it's about 70% of the users on the Internet. Um, have you tried this route? Absolutely. Um, I am uh, try to be pretty active on LinkedIn and uh, as well as uh, some of the other uh, associations that are uh, related to HR. And, of course, uh, everyone out there is a little bit different. You know, there are uh, communities both online uh, as well as uh, physically in the community uh, at large uh, for finance, for IT, uh, engineering, uh, you name it. So it's important to uh, get involved with the ones that are aligned with your career goals. Let's go back to uh, to Al. Maybe you can give some comments on this networking effort and what you've experienced as you work with uh, many executives on, on transitioning back. Well, I you know the thing that just uh, strikes me about networking is it's so serendipitous. It's um, it, it's just amazing how people find jobs, and it's not a a, a, a sort of a, a rational process. You just sort of get out there. And you bump, most people just go to these meetings and eventually just about everyone will get a job. So most people, they practice it. It's a very serendipitous process. Bob, do you have a target list of companies? Because there's another way to do this. Do you have a target list of companies that uh, you're, you're um, interested in working for? Yeah, uh, absolutely, and uh, of course, part of that I owe it to Al and his group because uh, that's some of the coaching I've received from uh, from uh, that team 
in the past, uh, we distribute target list of organizations we're interested in working for. Right. The the key, I think, you know, it's almost like if you had ever managed a sales force and you had people and you said, okay, here's our product. And in this case, when you're job searching, the product is you. So you've got to have a clear definition of your product. But here's your product, go out and sell it. And how are you going to sell it? And if the person said, I'm just going to randomly go to various meetings and try to find a job that way, um, you probably wouldn't – You'd send the salesperson for some training because the right way to do it would be to target companies. Find out what companies that you would be interested in working for and then use your network. This is really the right way to do networking. Use your network to get introductions into those companies because 70, 80 percent, Bob, somewhere in there, jobs are never advertised. They're, oh, at least, Al. Yeah. And especially at the level Bob's at. Bob, you know, has been uh, an executive, very high level executive, and those jobs typically are not advertised. You've got to network your way in. But the key is having, you know, a process that you can follow that makes, you know, sense. And one way to do it, like I said, the key way to do it is to have a, a list of co- target companies. You know, I, I, I once heard a saying that, uh, you know, recession is um, when everyone else is losing their job. A depression is when you lose your job. And, <laughs> and I, I think an important aspect of this is, as we think about this, there's obviously a psychological factor of oh. uh, going through this experience, seeing the bills at home, the mortgage is still in place, the, the costs need to be addressed of how do you, you know. And, and so, Bob, I'd be interested in hearing your perspective. How do you deal with, with this aspect of life of saying, you know, how do you keep it, upbeat and going and what are some of the things that you've um yeah i'm happy to share that um i think that there's a couple of key points i think that uh first of all i would say that you have to keep living and by that i mean you have to get out of the house it's really easy to after you lose your job to just kind of sit in your house and you know spend a lot of time online and doing this and doing that and you know, you stop getting out of the house, you stop seeing people you know, you stop going to lunch with the friends and all that, and, you know, maybe it's just because you want to save the money, maybe you're embarrassed, whatever the situation might be, but it's really important that you not do that. You need to get out of the house. Uh, I would say set goals for yourself. Uh, similar to networking, you know, meet contacts at least once or twice a week for coffee or, you know, lunch or just to talk or whatever, and, you know, certainly keep your low-cost, no-cost hobbies and, and things that you're passionate about going you know, the easiest examples for me to give you are things like, you know, I play tennis. That doesn't cost anything. You know, I like to hike. I like to rollerblade. And none of those things cost me anything. Uh, and occasionally I like to ride my Harley. And all that costs me is gas. And everyone's got things like that that really don't cost much. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. But it's important that you continue them because you need to remind yourself that life is more about what you do uh, to make money. And I think the next uh, most important thing is you need to treat job hunting like a job in itself. Um, To the extent you can do it, you need to, you know, work, you know, get up every morning just like, you know, you're going to work. Don't lounge in bed. Don't sleep in all of a sudden until, you know, 12 just because you're out of work. Uh, That does lead to depression and and feeling sorry for yourself and things like that. So you need to do it just like it's a job. You know, get up just like you would, work it at least eight, eight hours or so, and set goals just like you did when you were working, you know, if, you know, like goals that I usually have, uh, if it helps anybody, or things like, you know, make at least 20 cold calls every day, you know, call at least 20 contacts in your network every day, apply for at least 30 jobs every day. Yep. But to Al's point earlier, this is not a blind effort. You should be target specific. You know, the people you call, uh, whether you know them or their cold calls and the jobs you apply for, should be, as Al pointed out, to your target list, you know, exactly the type of job and the type of organization you want to work for, because that's yeah. going to prove to be a lot more fruitful for you. Excellent. Well, Bob, this is all great advice. Unfortunately, we have to uh, we have the commercial break for our sponsor, but we'd like to thank you for your time here today. Uh, it's great insight, things that you've worked on and getting back into the workforce, and uh, I'm sure many will benefit from it. This is Alan Olson with the American... Dreams, Key to Life Success. We'll be back with more information on what to do your job search shortly after this break. More with Alan Olson and American Dreams is coming up on AM 1220 KDOW.